Hi, I'm John with Prima Coffee, and today we're going to do a walkthrough of the basic electronics of the Didding KR1203. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we've laid the grinder down so that we can get to the bottom plate, and I'm going to remove four Phillips head screws on each corner. Okay, once we get those removed, I'm going to move the, uh, the, the plate down just a little bit. I'm going to remove that switch cover that's below the, the main switch, and then I'm going to remove the main switch. So I'm just going to pull the plate back here so we can see what's on the bottom plate. So just a basic overview. Of course, we have our main power switch. We have our internal circuit breaker, our capacitors, and our contactor. Just quickly, the internal circuit breaker is a 20 amp circuit breaker. Should the motor pull more amps than usually this will happen if you have a clog or an obstruction that restricts the motor, this will pop and cut power to the grinder motor. If that happens, you'll see this red button on the bottom. Uh, that will have to be depressed to reset that breaker and get power back to the grinder. The capacitors uh, basically give the motor an extra boost of power so it can start up and run properly. Once these start getting old, they will lose the ability to supply that extra power and will need to be replaced. So if you have a sluggish motor, go ahead and uh, measure these. They should be 80 microfarad plus or minus 5%. When they end up being less than 5% of 80, then they're old enough that they need to be replaced. The contactor is basically a switch that sends power to the motor when we turn the power on. The contactor has a magnet that energizes with a supply voltage and then is a magnet with a spring-loaded mechanism that closes contacts between these two sides to let power through should it not be receiving the control voltage or should any of that mechanical assembly inside of the contactor fail then it may not close and the grinder will not operate correctly. Finally the last thing is we have the terminal block that basically relays this power through all these components and up to the motor. Every now and then one of these connectors may become loose and needs to be reconnected to get the grinder to work properly. All right, so that's a basic overview of the electric system for the Dinning KR1203. I'm John with Prima Coffee. Thanks for watching.